What's up? It's uh, cheap beer for you to drink. Hey, it's JJ, and uh, let's try this one more time. I keep trying to make this video, and uh, the microphone keeps having problems, and uh, maybe it'll work this time. We'll see. Uh, here today are the Truly Lemonade Hard Seltzers, and um, I've been eyeballing these since the last video I made over a month ago. Sorry it's been so long, by the way. But uh, I've been eyeing these at the grocery store, just waiting to pull the trigger to finally buy them. And today I was out and about, and uh, hey, it's payday. Why not? Why not get some truly hard seltzers? Louie, what's up, dude? Uh, welcome to uh, Cheap Beer for You to Drink. Which one's your favorite? Okay, that was my cat, Louie. <laughs> So uh, I had already, like I said, already tried to film this, so I've kind of already had them. So I already know what they taste like. So let's just run down one more time real quick my final thoughts. And I actually already have them in order. So uh, my favorite down here being the mango, the original, strawberry, and black cherry. And I'll run down them uh, one more time and uh, tell you my thoughts on them. The mango is really good. It is a great balance of the mango flavor and lemonade flavor. These have such a great lemonade flavor. They remind me, like I said in the last video, of Mike's Hard Lemonades, but a less sweet version. Those are just so sweet that they're hard to drink a lot of. And uh, let's try it one more time. The Mango Lemonade, and it's my favorite so far. So good. If you can find this, um, I was actually out at a bar, and uh, I saw that they had truly like back in the fridge, I'm like, oh, I wonder if they, what flavors they have. And uh, I think they just had the mango one. And it's it's super good. It's a really good, like I said, the, the mango, I never had mango lemonade, just like in general. So they kind of um, balance each other out. A really good, not overpowering, um, really refreshing flavor. I like that a lot. Not gonna crack open the uh, original lemonade here just because we did it in the last video, but, um, it's a great flavor, except for the fact that I really don't like the stevia. The more I have it, I'm glad it's in there because it doesn't add calories or anything, and it's not technically an artificial sweetener. They say it's natural, but it just has such an overpowering flavor. If you haven't had anything with stevia in it, you'll definitely notice it. And I don't drink it a lot, but um, there's also the, uh, what are they called? The vitamin waters. If you've had the vitamin water zero, lemonade you'll know exactly what these taste like because it's good it just the stevia is such a unique flavor that you, they all four have that overwhelming stevia aftertaste and it, it's not unpleasant by any means but you can definitely notice it but uh nonetheless the original lemonade is a super good flavor and it's one of my favorite seltzers if not my favorite seltzer um, these are great flavors. They're just a, a little expensive. Uh, and of course, it's cheap beer for you to drink, so we gotta keep it on the low low, which is why I like my Natural Light seltzers. The cheapest seltzers that I've seen so far in a, a great flavor, but I kinda like the lemonade seltzers a little bit more. They're just super refreshing, and I can't wait for spring to be here and just drinking these outdoors and it being nice and warm. Just really good flavors. The strawberry lemonade I put third and we'll try it again. Um, this one, uh, let me just try it one more time, but the strawberry flavor kind of overpowers the lemonade. It just tastes like a strawberry seltzer. And I still get that. I don't get, I don't get much lemonade in that, which is a shame because it's a, it's a good strawberry flavor. Um, I see a lot of people in the comments and a lot of people that I talk to don't like the strawberry Bud Light seltzer, which is crazy because I thought it'd be such a good flavor, but it wasn't my personal favorite. And uh, I think a lot of you are saying the same thing. Let me know in the comments below if you like the Bud Light strawberry. I made a whole video on it. Um, it's just not the best flavor and maybe strawberry is hard to do, but this has a good, this actually has a good strawberry flavor. It's just like 80% strawberry, 20% lemonade. There's not much lemonade flavor there. It's kind of overpowered, but it's good. And uh, this takes me to my least favorite of the bunch, but still not bad at all. This is the Black Cherry Lemonade Hard Seltzer. And uh, 
These are all super good. Like I said, they're my favorite seltzers, I think, just except for the price. $14.99 um, at Kroger and a few gas stations. They're hard to find. And then I went to Walmart picking something up, and I was like, oh, I'll just get it while I'm here. And Walmart is so expensive with their alcohol. It was $16 before tax, so a whole dollar more expensive than the grocery store down the road. So I don't recommend you getting your alcohol from Walmart. Um, Louie, he's meowing again. But this is the Black Cherry, truly. And that has the least lemonade flavor, I would say, out of all of them. And it just kind of tastes like a, a black cherry uh, white claw. Or I don't know if there's a black cherry truly. These are really the only truly flavors I've had. Um, someone left a few of them and they were okay. But uh, none of them caught my eye as much as these lemonade flavors. And I'm glad I got them. They're super good. But after a while, they all kind of taste the same. And I think it's the stevia. I, I kind of wish that they wouldn't have rent, went that route. Because uh, the stevia is really overpowering. But... They're super good, and if you get a chance to try them, let me know what you think. But I'm going to say Mango Lemonade is my favorite, then regular, then strawberry, black cherry. There's not a bad flavor. They're just really good to... Okay. Uh, please leave a comment down below what you would like me to do. I just wanted to make this one because uh, a lot of you were noticing I hadn't done a video in a while, and that's because I did them back to back to back. And they've all been seltzers, and I really don't want to do seltzers, but no one's making any interesting beers um there's not there's nothing that is super interesting like a natter days that have come out there hasn't been a new like a bud light lemon tea that one was awful there hasn't been anything uh too crazy but i'm gonna keep my eye out and if you see something let me know and i'll try to get up my hands on it uh, i'm trying to think the most recent beers that i've had i've had um the keystone i've been wanting to make a video on keystone but i just haven't you know, I went through the whole 24 pack, it's gone. It's a okay light beer. Um, there was nothing special about it. I wanted to do a video, but it was okay. And they kind of gave me headaches and not a lot of light beers do that. So I've had that. I've had Ho Garden. Is that how you pronounce it? Is it Who Garden? Ho Garden? It's not a cheap beer by any means, but it is, um, if I'm looking to splurge on a beer, $9.49 for a six pack, it's so good. Um, if you haven't had it, it tastes like a, uh, a really good blue moon and it's really spicy and it just tastes so good. If you haven't had it, it is probably my favorite beer overall. Like if I was just to go out one night and get just one beer and I wanted one beer, Ho Garden it is. Um, so that's pretty much it. I've had Keystone, that, um, the occasional Natter Day, the occasional Natural Light Seltzer, uh, the PBR hard, hard coffee. I don't think we did a video on either, uh, but I wanted to, but I drank those so quick. Uh, the problem with those, if you haven't had those, they just kind of taste like coffee. There wasn't, there's no beer flavor and it's just hard coffee. Um, and they taste like those monster coffees that you get in the 15 ounce can, like the monster Java or like a, uh, Starbucks coffee that you'd get in a can. They're good. They're super sweet. Um, but that's it. That's all I've had lately that I haven't made a video on. And I meant to, but just time got in the way and I, I couldn't do it. So I'm going to try to keep making more videos. Again, leave some recommendations down below. I know Corona is coming out with some seltzer soon. And I'm probably not going to do those. They just look like the same flavors. Um, Maybe there'll be a blueberry lemonade flavor or a blueberry natter days. Come on, please make those. That'd be so good. Uh, other than that, I haven't seen anything. If you see something, let me know. Uh, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching these videos. Um, over 300 video, over 300 subscribers now. Wow, it's super late at night. I need to go to bed, and uh, drinking seltzers isn't helping. But. Uh, 360 some subscribers thank you guys so much uh it's been over a year now i can't believe it natter days have been out over a year so that means this channel is over a year old and i want to do some kind of big special video just to say thanks to everybody um but i'm the wheels are turning on that i'm planning something so uh we'll be back with that soon and uh
There's a new Four Loco Seltzer flavor I need to get with Garrett at AgroPool and uh, do a collab video with him on that. Other than that, that's it. That's kind of the channel update. I know it's been a while. It's been about a month or so since I've done a video, so I just wanted to come on here and say hi and do something quick. And it's just turned into me rambling, but that's besides the point. Thanks again. Leave your recommendations or requests down below. And uh, yeah, this is cheap beer for you to drink. Thanks for watching.